In this video, I will teach you how to download hundreds of PDF books in this list from Springer's website. So keep watching. Hi everyone. I hope that you and your family are safe and healthy in these testing times. Since the outbreak of COVID-19, most of us are in lockdown. And during this time, many websites are offering free teaching materials. I recently came across this PDF file which has a list of 408 Springer textbooks with a link to the page from where you can download the PDF books. Since I love to learn about Python, I quickly scanned the list and there were few amazing Python books in it like this one and this one. In fact, there are 8 books related to Python. So one way is you search for Python. Open that link. Click on download button and download the each book. But wait, we are the Pythonistas. We should not be doing that. We can automate this process. In fact, we can download all these books with just one script. This is what I am going to do in this video. I will create a python script which can be used to download either all these books or download specific books with certain keywords like python etc. But before jumping in, I would like to request you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it yet and also hit the bell icon for future notifications as it will keep us motivated and will keep on producing helpful videos for you. So for downloading these books, we will be needing few modules. The number one is tabula. We will be using it for passing the PDF and converting it to a CSV file. Then we will be using the CSV module to read the CSV file. Requests hyphen HTML for getting the absolute links. Requests for downloading the book. And clint for showing a progress bar. This one is just to make the process a bit fancy. You can skip it if you want. So let's start coding. First of all, we'll create a directory. And then we'll cd into it. Now we will create a virtual n. And now let's activate the virtual environment. If you want to know more about creating virtual environments, you can check our previous video by clicking the link above. Now let's install the necessary modules. We will be doing pip install tabula-py requests-html and client. CSV is an inbuilt module so we don't need to install it and requests will be automatically installed while installing request-html so we don't need to install it separately. Now let's start coding. First of all we'll make all the necessary imports from tabula. We will be importing convert underscore into and then we'll import CSV and we will be importing from request underscore html import html session here you can see that we have installed the module tabula hyphen py and request hyphen html but we are importing them with different name it is just a naming convention and you must be aware of this and then we will be importing request and find mom clan dot text ui import progress as i have told you earlier that this module is to show progress bar while downloading a file you can skip it if you want to and now we will pass this list to a csv file using the tabula module i have copied the list to my working folder with the name of list.pdf so let's create a function define parse underscore pdf it will be taking an input 
underscore file and output file and we'll be doing convert underscore into and we'll be taking the input underscore file the output underscore file and the format output underscore format will be saving it as a csv and then pages will be passing all the pages and lastly we will set lettuce is equal to true what this lettuce do is it makes this passing more effect and the function doesn't skip the rows and we can return the output file and we can use this output file in our next functions now first just run this function will be parse underscore pdf as i've told you i have saved the that list as list.pdf and we'll be taking an output as output.csv so let's run it so it's finished and let's go to our working folder So here you can see that we have a output.csv if we open it so it has got five columns the second column contains the title of the book and this last column contains the url from which you can click on the download link and you can also note that the first row shows the title and the second row shows the headers we need to ignore both of these rows while we are looping through the csv file so let's try to open one of the links so if you see that there is a download pdf book button here we can click on it and download the book let's keep it open we'll use it later in our code so moving back to our code and since now we have created an csv file we might not need this function so we will be commenting it out and now we will create our main function this main function will take a csv file as an input which in our case will be output.csv with open csv file in read mode as app we are using a context manager here and reader is equal to csv.reader f and then as i told you the first line is the title we will be skipping it using next the second one is header we'll be skipping it using next and then for row in reader and then we can say if some text in string dot lower row one we will be selecting only those rows which has our keyword for example we can use python here but there are eight books of python which will make this download process a bit long so i will search for some book which has only one and neuroanatomy there is only one book on neuroanatomy so we'll say neuroanatomy in string dot lower it means that our book name has neuroanatomy in this then only the next statement will run and link get underscore download underscore link row so what we'll do is we'll get the link to the pdf file, file using this function this function is not yet defined we'll be defining it later and then we will print f downloading row 1 and then we will use another function called download underscore file and we will pass in the row and link to it this function is not defined yet either and we will be defining it afterwards and then we will let's copy this and paste it here and we can say download it here i am using f strings if you don't know much about f strings i have a tutorial on my website about f strings and i will leave the link to it in the description below so now this function is complete now we need to create a 
this function called get underscore download underscore link for this we will be saying define get underscore download underscore link and it will be taking a row element of csv as we have passed the row here the url will be csv underscore row minus one as you have seen in this this last column this is the link to the page which contains the downloadable link so we will be taking this as a url and then also we'll have to start a session session is equal to html session this is we using request underscore html and now we'll do r is equal to session dot get url now we have to find the link element so let's go back to the page inspected element and if you see this is our a link it has a class of test underscore book pdf underscore link so we'll copy this and moving back to our code so link element is r dot html dot find a with a class we have copied it from there and we just need the first one of it so first is equal to true and then we need the absolute link so we will saying link is equal to list link underscore element dot absolute underscore links zero actually what this link underscore elements dot absolute underscore links do it gives all the absolute links present in this element and it actually returns a set and we want to take the first element by index so we have converted it into a list and then use zero index to get the link so this will return the link so this here return the link and this link goes into our main function here and now we will be doing our define download underscore file it will be taking csv underscore row and the url path where we want to save our file the path will be equal to csv underscore row first item and we will be replacing the space with an underscore so that we can save the file and then we'll be adding an end and then we'll be adding the extension to it and here response will be equal to request dot get url screen is equal to true so here this url we have provided the url here in the link so now stream is equal to true because we will be downloading the file in batches because some of the files are bigger in size with open path we are opening a empty file in a writable mode as f and now we will be using that clint to show the progress bar for we will be doing total is equal to int of response dot address dot get content underscore length now what we will be doing is for chunk in progress dot bar we will be iterating through the response dot iter underscore content and we'll be setting the chunk size is equal to one zero two four and after that we'll be setting the expected underscore size is equal to total length divided by one 024 plus 1 these are the number of chunks then if there is a chunk 
then f dot write chunk and f dot flush and since we have already created the output file here so we will be running the main function using that output file output dot csv and instead of running it on sublime text i will be running it on the terminal so let me clear it for you and python script dot py so it's now downloading clinical neuroanatomy and it has it is showing us the progress bar also and it is increasing as the file is getting downloaded and it has completed the downloading as i have already told you there is only one book on neuroanatomy and that list so the whole process has completed and now let's open the folder and here we have got clinical neurotomy book here the book has been downloaded so now you can use this script to download as many books as you want you can set the keywords here or instead you can skip this line and indent it back and this will download all the books for you this is it for this video hope you have enjoyed it if you have liked the video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to it and hit the bell icon for future notifications bye bye for now thank you